Hey there, Hitchcock fans. This is JAR369. Today I'll be taking a look at the pop movies director number 624, Alfred Hitchcock by Funko. Now, if you youngers don't know who Alfred Hitchcock is, you'd probably be too young to know who he is. If you're an older viewer watching this, you do know who is Alfred Hitchcock is. Then you'll probably know if one of you guys don't know who Alfred Hitchcock is, he's probably the director of the the greatest horror film at all, Psycho. Now, I got this guy. Now, I, I was originally going to do a black and white video, just like I did with the normal Norman Bates pop. I mean, since this pop was actually in black and white, so hey, I'm not really going to do that. So why not just do just a color video instead? I'm pretty sh sure those black and white videos I've done did not receive any positive reviews. Yeah. Take a look at the packaging here. Here we got the just the usual pop director's packaging, pop packaging there with this little clipboard, whatever. You get an image of Hitchcock on the side here. You get the image of Hitchcock with the other, with the, uh, the red carpet and those golden poles. And you get the flashing lights there on the side here Alfred Hitchcock you get you get his image here number and on the back here you can see there's a the blood on the um on the background I mean a hey, psycho and also you get this nice image of Hitch Hitchcock and holding the um the clipboard that says psycho this is where Funko got like the, the pose from. And also on the top here you get the the silhouette of of Hitchcock here. And that's about it for the box. Now let's release Alfred Hitchcock out of the box. Here we got Alfred Hitchcock out of the box. Now take a look at the pop here. I actually like how this pop turned out to be. It looks really enormous to Alfred Hitchcock. I mean I think it looks really cool. I mean the I really like how they captured this version of Hitchcock. I mean, let's compare it to the real Hitchcock to this Hitchcock pop. I mean, it looks phenomenal. I think it looks really good. I think they did a great job with this pop. The head sculpt looks good. The um, mold, I mean, you know how Funko does with no mouth? Now they broke the rule and added the mouth there. That's interesting. And also, you can see the suit here. You can see like the tie here behind this clipboard thing. And you could do your white shirt here. And uh, also, it says Psycho9401, director Mr. Hitchcock. I'm guessing that's January 29, 1960. Holy, holy cow, that's way old. And I'm, pre I'm not sure what's DR8 means. And I'm pretty sure that's day six. Yeah. I really like how they just like they paint printed on the uh, the little the little arrows for the clipboard and nothing much on the the pop here because you know he wore he wore a um a black suited suit here. Now you get the wrinkles on the eyes here. I really like how this like you know the little this kind of eyes. I forgot what they're called. His eyebrows are gray. Like like the one you see in the uh, black old black and white movies, you can see some of the glossy paint on the shoes here. You can see some molded shoelaces there, and on the bottom nothing else. And I'm glad there's no legal crap on this. At, oh, oh, never mind. There's a legal crap on his forehead. And wow, great job ruining that Funko. Great job. But overall, I say it's. I say it's really one of the coolest pop ever. I think it looks really phenomenal. I think it looks really accurate to the to the actual director himself. I mean, I know you guys are thinking for this review, this is not a generic horror toy. I mean, hey, he directed Psycho. That count as a horror toy. Am I right? Right? Okay, I'll stop. Now I'm hoping Funko can do other pop director lines like 
Uh, let's just see. I want to see Steven Spielberg. Uh, who else? Uh, Stanley Kubrick. Uh, I say Mel Brooks. And I'm pretty sure that's about it. I think I really want to see those three pops. Those three directors in pop forms. I mean, that would be even cool. I mean, I actually love the new, um, those, those, um, pop director lines. Like I, last time I did review on the Daika Watiti pop. I mean, hey, I got this because he's voiced by one of my favorite characters, Cork. And also, I got this because he directed the, one of the best movies I think I enjoyed for the month of October. For this pop, if you're a big Psycho fan, I probably highly recommend getting this pop. I think it looks really cool. It looks really accurate to the character. Now, to now, in my previous video, I do not rate 1 to 10 on the pops. So, I want to do this for this pop. So, hey, I give it a, a 9 out of 10. Yep, a 9 out of 10. So, that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. And that's about it. This is JAR369 and goodbye.